Hey, what's up everybody? Long time no see. Today in our review we will have a game called Thaumaturge. The word Thaumaturge seems from the Greek word Thermaturgus, roughly meaning a power of wonders. Bo, oh boy. Does the Thaumaturge live up to that moniker with the custom made SC? Despite having no idea what a title mean, at least I was drowning hook, line and sinker. Line an entity attaching itself to a poor helpless soul. I was connected. In the broadest form, the Thaumaturge is isometric story heavy RPG mixed with an instigation mechanics, decision making and a host of characters to unravel it. In its core though, what makes the Thaumaturge so compelling is not individual system but rather the world upon uh, which it's built been. To say it's easy to be absorbed into a universe of reveal creatures that lack unto human being flaws would be a massive understatement. So what it is makes the Thaumaturge so transfixing? It's not just the works of wonders, nor the manipulation of the human psyche, surprisingly. Time to dust off the old grimoire and take out your Sherlock Holmes cosplay attire when our investigation to be conducted. The Thaumaturge takes place in Warsaw, Poland in the year 1905, still under the Iron Fist of Russia at the time. This is a city on the edge. Diverse group of the people are loggerheads despite the remnant of the authorities and are they corrupt of violent ineffective. Returning to its melting plots of the whole land, the Viktor Suzuki, both of protagonist and the title Tomatorge. There are two stories developed full theory fixate on the within the game. The first story is the story of Warshaw itself, the resistance towards Russian occupation and disregarding impact of the high society and the uprising in the progressive movements towards a more prosperous fate. In this, I found so many enthralling stories and variation threads of revelating social commentaries. For the most part, it is achieved uh, throughout an abundance of the invectable object in the environment. Newspapers that reflect on events of the time, collectible sketches highlighting architecture, notes that reveal the intricacies of Polish, Russian or Jewish life during the period. Warsaw is a character unto itself and the Tomaturk is a superb and highlighting in the world and standout in its own right. More than However, it's how the development have used the Warshow to draw focus into the second narrative, the people. Victor is returning to this hotbed of metropolis with the ability to see into its underbelly. As a traumaturge, he can sense emotion on the objects, feeling the thrall to the others. Oxymoronically, not only in the Warshow is sign delight, it's a hive of scum and the valley he most icily would reel at. Victor return to Poland is superb by the other that of his father, from whom he holds like a love. However, the story quickly runs in the pace. Before long, you mixing with some prominent figures and the groups throughout the city, namely Rasputin, the Russian Secret Service, Polish loyalists, Jewish businessmen and the other dramaturgs. Throughout the city lurk saluters, sentiment entirely unseen by the majority of the population throughout unseen does not mean feel unaffected. Saluters latch unto the emotional flaws of humans, for example, ambition, pride, or manipulation, changing the behavior of their subject, usually for the worse. Victor has uncanny ability to not only see saluters but to interact with the ultimately controlling them, which is where traumatage uh, really holds into second theme of the human weakness. Saluters accurate flaws already inherit within the person and seek out the people with the strongest version of the flaw. You are making a number of decisions that traumaturge, like who you align yourself with. Additionally, when presented with the chance, you'll need to decide whenever removing a plum from the song is right the price. They may be afraid or burdened, but what did they lose in the process? The decision making of the game is what truly grabbed me. Wrangling over whatever I could trust as a childhood friend, the cult like miracles working Rasputin on either Victor's own sister is so engaging. While the choices you make aren't as comprehensive as say, a Baldur's Gate game, they shape you, Victor, in very different ways. So some threads aren't as fleshed out as others, but overall, the Traumaturge is a brilliant exploration into human nature with a fascinating seed to boot. While White Bar shall clock full of interesting discoveries and stories to unfurl, you need to navigate throughout in districts to find investigators. The city is divided into half a dozen so districts, effectively small hub maps. They are teeming with life, with the main quest, side quests and odd jobs activated throughout stumbling on revalent items. A lot of time the traumaturge is spent wandering from place to place, 
Thanks to the victor ties to the entire of Rian, and a handy flow of red energy will guide you through the objectives. Snapping your fingers, I mean fingers, sorry. Reveals kinetic sensitive objects which, when interacted with, tell you more about the item itself and the feelings attached to it. For main and side quests, the act of dissolving items regarding their descriptions and piecing together the story behind them is great. Being throughout will reward you with a new dialogue, three options, and they used to tie the collectibles into the game in meaningful fashion. In a lot of cases, there are less deductive reasons, there were simple walking to various points and clicking a button. Consequently, your enjoyment will stand uh, how willing to immerse yourself in the details you are. In my 25 hour playthrough, I acquired 90% of collectibles and complete every quest available, which I was always engaged with the mission specific investigation and items, I did tire on odd job rewarded ones. Collecting the 55 sketches in particular does err on the side of tedium, especially when you already spend 15-20 hours transversing the same small locations. While not bad, there may be attached too many of them. Despite all the langboard and running around the trauma type succeed, so many games disappoint where it comes to side quests. They're generally meaning and impactful. Sure, you can safely skip them and blitz throughout the story and buy it, but you'll be doing yourself a disservice. The developers have used the side missions and opportunity to explore more around Washam and the stories of the people within to great effect. More than that, they are multi-layered and offered both gameplay and decision-making adventure. More than one potential solution, for instance, are required throughout the deep narrative trends. Depending on the outcome of the quest, you may know, um, you may know even end up with the solution. This makes doing side missions a consummate plate as opposed to a boring time wasting chore so main quest following a similar vein throughout uh, what may start you as an delicious inquiry can very rapidly spiral into the brawls misdirections and broken allegiances the trauma church excels with its quest design and the uh, interwoven stories which kept me thrilled to keep processing no matter where i was overall the story during the investigation and escapades you'll find Often yourself the wrong side of, well, basically everyone. Police, gangs, thugs, and even charlatan street peddlers. Almost everyone is more than happy to dish out some knuckle sandwiches. Victor comes prepared, sporting both its own punching acumen and the powers of salators and being out to call. Combat is turn-based where the various moves can be taken one, two, three rounds to trigger. You can view your opponent slide up moves allowing you to strategize. It may sound simple, but even selecting whatever victor or saluter moves first can be essential. You thought the basic via tutorial, but the mastery will come from experimentation and learning from the errors. Each saluter has its own set of moves, providing a wealth of combat options to mess around with. Enemies have both traditional health and the focus meter. For some, you can brute force throughout with regular attacks. For others, you need to break their focus, open them up to powerful abilities. Opponents have their traits, which make them immune to status effectively or may negate 80% of damage, for example. All of the clomids in this effective combat system that interesting and challenging in equal measure. I found most of the box standards fights to be breeze, but boss battles and story encoders will properly challenge your strategies. The fact that it's easier or harder depending on style there are equations depends on the decision making structs of the story too. Towards the back of the game, I did find myself being less engaged. Regulars won't any traffic by that point, making them uh, begrudging time killers. Thankfully, random encoders are avoidable. The combat system itself works brilliantly, but it doesn't quite have the legs to sustain every optional fight you can come across. Well. The Thaumaturge is a deep, complex and expert-crafted RPG game, ripe when engaging, large stories, and a dialogue discussed in the equal measure. This tactical of worship love around with the flaws of human nature is supremely compelling. It might be slightly too long and has the odd technical flaw, but it is a work devolving into a character study of the human condition brimming with the agriculture. An excellent video game that may surprise some of the potential game of the year contender. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And peace.